So let's make homemade almond milk. First, you're going to soak blanched almonds overnight or 12 hours. I did not drain the nuts off after soaking because I wanted to keep all the nutrients that were left in the water. So you'll just feed the nuts through the juicer and follow it up with the water. So let me backtrack. For every one cup of almonds, you add two cups of water. So you can add more or less water depending on how creamy or thin you want your milk to be. Let me spill you out a little benefits of what almonds do. Do you see all those many benefits? So now let's get to the fun part of flavoring our milk to give it a little flavor. And I'm also gonna do half and half, chocolate milk and regular milk. So here's what you'll need for chocolate. You need cacao powder, sea salt, to waken up that nut flavor, vanilla extract, and pure maple syrup. But if you're diabetic, I'd suggest you using a sugar-free maple syrup. Now for the plain, just leave the cacao powder out. Um, I am never going to cow's milk ever again, okay? To make it smoother, I like to strain my milk to get a plain, smooth texture, just like real milk. Save your nut pulp because that stuff is expensive. Freeze it and save it so you can make cookies and nut butters and a whole lot of other stuff. Follow us for more healthy yet yummy alternatives.